high functioning anxiety. You know what I'm talking about, right? As a business owner, you might have suffered at some point along your journey from high functioning anxiety. Maybe you're an overachiever. Maybe you want perfection in everything that you try. Who knows? But it's a great question, right? Do you have it? I have with me today a special guest, and it's Tatiana Garcia. And she's a licensed therapist, and she has a high functioning anxiety quiz that she's going to share with us. But today on the Ask a House Cleaner show, where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer, we're going to switch the roles today. I'm going to ask her the questions, and she's going to share with us the answers. Please help me welcome to the show, Tatiana Garcia. Yeah. So high functioning anxiety is when you are high achieving, ambitious, and hardworking on the outside. And that's what it appears like to others. However, on the inside, you're struggling with anxiety, overthinking things, self-doubt, putting a lot of pressure on yourself, people pleasing, and having difficulty saying no. And all of these things are going on within, but because oftentimes as somebody who is high achieving and hardworking, it might be hard for you to share this with others um, because you fear, are they going to judge me or are they going to think I'm not competent? And so it's this kind of constant battle between what you're presenting to others on the outside and how you're actually feeling on the inside. And I got into specializing in high functioning anxiety because I used to struggle with this myself and it still comes up from time to time. And this is something that I really went through a lot where I felt as though I had to appear a certain way and appear professional and successful, whatever that means to others. And I was really struggling on the inside with a lot of anxiety and and insecurity and and self-doubt that was really in the long run holding me back. Um, And that can be the double-edged sword of high-functioning anxiety where a lot of times with anxiety in general, there's this avoidance. So if you think of it, a simple example, if you're afraid of heights, then you're going to avoid going somewhere, you know, on the top of a building or whatever. Whereas with high functioning anxiety, instead of avoiding things, we're often propelled forward into taking action into overworking. And so throwing yourself into doing a lot of work or saying yes to everything because you have a fear of missing out. And that fear is still under the surface, but it's coming out in, in different ways. Well, you know, as house cleaners, um, there's a weird tendency because the house cleaning industry attracts people pleasers, for example. And so they get to a customer's house and then they're bidding a job. And oftentimes they over promise things that are not exactly on the worksheet and not exactly part of the job because they're people pleasing and they want to get the job. And so they promise a little bit more than is actually they're able to deliver. And then the customers will try to nickel and dime them and get the best price, which is just common nature. Everybody wants the best price. And then they agree to the price because, again, they're people pleasers and they want the job. And of course, they can justify it by saying, well, this is another job. At least it's money coming in. But by the time they get home or by the time they get to the, the customer's house the second or third time, they're regretting the decisions. And it, it embodies all that high anxiety that, like, why did I do this to myself? Why did I say yes? Why did I overpromise and all these things? How do you know if you're suffering from um, high functioning anxiety? Yeah, I, I think that's a great example that you bring up. And I think that that people pleasing that can come up, it's often coming from a place of fear. Like, you know, I, I could imagine they might be thinking things like, well, if I don't say yes, then I'm going to lose this uh, client or this opportunity or, you know, not wanting people to be mad at you. And so I think what can help us to look at like what's underneath these behaviors, if it's being driven by fear and the what ifs and the worries, then there may be some anxiety and some potentially high functioning anxiety there. Of course, there's different levels and everything goes on a spectrum. So, you know, there may be people who are on the lower end where, you know, I think most people struggle with people pleasing from time to time and it it might come up. And then there may be on the higher end where, you know, if this is something that's coming up a lot for you and it's really impacting your confidence or your ability to show up and like, uh, just be confident in maybe it's your pricing or, um, how you're serving people, then that might be 
more on like the significant end, if that makes sense. So let's suppose that you are a business owner and you, you are feeling signs of stress. Is that the same as the anxiety that you're talking about or are there different symptoms and how do you recognize them? Yeah, that's a great question. So stress is really anything that is going to have an impact on, you know, and, and affect the way that you feel in your mood. And um, so maybe it's uh, something that might trigger you. So maybe if you have a busy schedule, or maybe if somebody says something to you that bothers you, those can be things that can trigger stress. Stress can also trigger anxiety and prolonged stress can result in anxiety. So the difference between stress and anxiety is that stress is really um, something that is uh, externally triggered um, and can be short-term or long-term, but it can turn into anxiety when um, it's something that you're struggling with um, on a regular basis. And anxiety is more of that worry and that thinking of the worst case scenario and that feeling like you're in survival mode. And if you drop the ball, for example, something bad's going to happen. So in some ways, anxiety can be a heightened level of stress, um, but they still are different in the sense that, you know, everybody has moments where, you know, things might be more stressful and maybe you're able to recover from that. But anxiety can be sometimes those either triggered by something that's related to stress, or it could be something that you might just be struggling with internally as a result of your thoughts and your beliefs. So is there a cure for it? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the thing is that, you know, anxiety, there may not necessarily be a cure that like, you're never going to feel anxious again, because sometimes anxiety can be helpful. If you think about like, before you have an interview or take an exam, um, it can be helpful to have some levels of anxiety because that's going to help to propel you to take action. And at the same time, it's absolutely possible to get to a point where anxiety isn't significantly impacting your life. And it's not holding you back from feeling happy, from feeling calm, from going towards the things that you want. So it is possible to get to a point where that anxiety and that stress isn't having such a huge impact on your day-to-day, -day, on how you're feeling and on your functioning. Oh, that's fantastic. I know lots of house cleaners cannot go on vacation because they feel like they always have to be cleaning and they always have to be doing something towards the business. So this is perfect. Tell our listeners where they can go to find you. Yeah. So you can find me at becalmwithtati.com. You can also find me on Instagram at Tatiana G L P C and my podcast, Calmly Coping. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I'm going to leave links in the show notes so that our listeners can find you and connect with you as well and pick up a copy of that high functioning anxiety quiz just as a self-test to see, you know, just to check in, make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be. And if not, um, I know that they can find some great wisdom in getting some counsel from you. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for joining us today. This was awesome. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.